I was laying in bed today, this morning, and trying to figure out how the Ark could have possibly been designed. I don't think it meets any design that we've ever seen. It would have been a special design, something where water could flow off the uh, top of the, uh, the boat. There wouldn't have been a deck, because if there had been a deck, Noah would have walked out on the deck and released the dove. He opened a window and released the dove. So it tells me that the deck was not one continuous roof that would have been designed in a way that it would have, well, I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. And I believe that there had to be two rudders that would keep the boat in one direction and there would have to be almost like a sail back here on the back end that would catch the wind and would force it to go in one direction and that would be into the wind. Kind of like a, a rudder in the air. Because if the boat is sideways to the waves, it would rock and especially 80 foot waves or bigger, it would have tipped over. So it had to ride into the waves. It couldn't ride uh, sideways to the waves. So it had to have some way of keeping itself straight into the waves. And I imagine windows on the top, maybe four big windows, that had oversized flaps over the window. And at some point, he would have been impressed by the Lord to raise up the flap so that it acted, acted kind of like a uh, roof over the window to let air in to the ark, but not water. I also believe, or at least I, I, I've been trying to imagine how they would take care of all those animals, insects, birds, everything, if they kept, kept awake during the whole thing. Well, animals would have panicked during a huge storm that they were riding over and uh, the waves and everything like that. I would think that God would have caused a big, deep sleep to fall over, over all the animals. And the ones that were carnivores, meat eaters, they may have been converted to herbivores, herbivores, which are plant eaters, because you can't have a bunch of lions and tigers and bears being released with uh, a bunch of herbivores who are plant eaters and have anybody survive and multiply they would have to be eating some kind of plants for a while until God figured that it was time enough for them to start becoming herb uh, carnivores again. I don't know. These are just things I'm trying to think of how this could have happened. Anything's possible with the creator of the earth. He could cause anything to happen over anything, and uh, it just seems to me it would have been easier on the family if they didn't have to shovel manure and funnel urine off the boat um, if these animals were all in hibernation they wouldn't have had to try to keep the ship clean and sanitary because the animals would be asleep and there'd have to be a living area for the family and it would probably be in the center of the boat because that's the uh, if you're at the rear of the boat you're going to be feeling the waves much stronger and or at the bow than you would in the middle where it kind of it doesn't quite 
get as rough uh, as the ends of the boat would be. So I would think that in the center, uh, maybe in the center of the boat itself, there might have been the living area. I'm, I, these are just different things I've been thinking about. I, I spent two years on an aircraft carrier, so I think I know a little something about uh, waves and boat life. <laughs> All right, well, that's just what I've been thinking of over the weekend, and I just thought you'd like to uh, know about that. So pardon my ramblings on about this, but I can't get it out of my mind. And I couldn't sleep, and I had to get up and draw this out. And now I can go back to bed, try to get a little more sleep. I only got about four hours sleep last night. I need more than that. It's Sunday morning, it's beautiful, it's 73 degrees outside, and I want to go for a drive this afternoon. All right, see you guys this coming week. Good night, or good morning. See you later.